Ruffles like was uh, one of the only one that was focusing on the English program and which was uh, offering a three years diploma to give a lot of um, kind of marketing and business classes as well which helps also the more artistic person. One of the strengths is the teacher. Uh, I feel that the teacher are really involved in um, teaching like the students and they really love what they do and are willing to help with whatever questions or any problems that we have and really push us like to do better and do more. So my name is Soria, I'm 21 years old. Um, I'm half Thai and French and I'm currently studying fashion design at Bradfold. Um, so I was looking for a fashion school here in Bangkok and Raffles like was uh, one of the only one that was focusing on the English program and which was uh, offering a three years diploma. So that was one of the main parts of why I chose Raffles. Um, I feel that um, Raffles give a lot of uh, kind of marketing and business classes as well, which helps also the more artistic person, which that will like usually more focus on the art and stuff and are kind of kind of lost on how to build uh, the brand because it's I feel like it's an important part of the industry as well to know um, about all of these aspects. Um, I feel that one of the strengths is the teacher. Uh, I feel that the teacher are really involved in um, teaching like the students and they really love what they do and are willing to help with whatever questions or any problems that we have and really push us like to do better and do more. I feel that yeah, the teacher are like one of the biggest trainer. Um, so first year we have uh, we had like more of the basics, so like the basics of sewing, hair making, drafting, and a lot of art classes. So like learning how to eat, how to draw, how to sketch the dimensions of what's the fashion industry like. And then after that we had more of like once we learned the basic, we had more uh, theoretical classes like style studies, marketing business, but also history of fashion and like, overall like about the fashion industry. And now that I'm going into my third year it's more about the creative art so like building our own collections and stuff um i think it was back at the very beginning in 2019 we went on a trip to japan with a bunch of the students and two of our teachers mike and miriam so that was nice it was a nice first like encounter with the school and how okay so we visited a lot of um, local manufacturers, uh, also museum to see how uh, we produce the textile back in Japan. So there's a lot of craftsmanship, a lot of like handmade stuff with the kimonos and, and all of that. So it was yeah, very interesting to see how this country, Japan, which is known for its high craftsmanship and quality, is actually made, and also the culture and stuff. Um, I made two masks which were selected for my cut design week, uh, which uh, one was made more of with the thought of how can this mask that we have right now be more uh, useful or more like have a better use. So it was more on the, uh, the um, how do you say it, the, yeah, the usage part of it, so like more comfort and how to make it to have it so like our lives are better with it because it became a big part of our lives right now so we get more comfort and how it can help more and um, it focused a lot on so yeah the usage so i had different attaches uh, with magnets so you could change the different the back part of the mask um depending on the situation and also it was made um, transparent so that we could see our um, mouse so like to help people that had hearing problems to better understand people that were talking. And the second one was more of a fashion statement. Um, so it was a, it was called the shoulder mask, which was inspired by the um, wind drivers with the that have the kind of the mask that they put on their face when not driving. So it was kind of yeah, a fashion statement that says that even though this pandemic is hitting everyone, it makes us all equals in, in this society, which is uh, which has a lot of inequalities. So yeah, these were the two masks I made. So I felt that 
Uh, it has to come from the passion first um, because it's a lot of hard work, especially at the beginning. Um, there's a lot of time that you have to spend like mastering the craft and it's also very hard to get in the industry and I feel that yeah, you have to have this passion to kind of push yourself forward and um, go through because there is a lot of competitors and there's a lot of people in the market so um, yeah, it, it has to start from a passion. So yeah, I think Raffles has like very good teachers and they're, they love what they do usually and they're always ready to help and I feel that it's nice to be like in an environment with people that are passionate and will help you succeed in what you do. So if you really like want to, you love what you do and you want to push it forward, I think it's a nice place to be.